जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, 
हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. 
Krishna, 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 Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Hare. Hori 
<coughs> I believe we're studying Bhagavad Gita. I believe we're studying Bhagavad Gita, first chapter, second chapter. Perhaps we can we can discuss Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Someone like to bring the book? Srimad Bhagavad Gita. Yeah. <coughs> Our Srila Prabhupada is gone Pratishtata Acharya, founder of ISKCON. He went to great, he personally took so much trouble to write these books. You, you've seen our books, just we have a whole library here in the corridor. So many books because <coughs> actually in the past the the students would go to the forest and find the Guru and uh, become the disciple of Guru, Guru Shishya. And one would practice sadhana, the, 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 the practice given by the Guru, sadhana in a forest. But <coughs> nowadays nobody is going to the forest. <laughs> No one's going to the forest or well, too busy. Not much, inter not much interest in spiritual life. Uh, people are more interested in in uh, material life. So therefore, because uh, so therefore, the guru has come to us. The guru has come to us. We also we also use the more. <coughs> recent developments in communication for distributing the message of God and we can use any method actually <coughs> our founder Shira Prabhupada he was he was he was he was ordered to preach in English in English he first met his guru Siddhanta Sarasari Thakur in 1923 1923 Kolkata we actually have that recently we acquired that Residence where Srila Prabhupada first met Siddhartha Saraswati Thakur and uh, was given the order to take the message, the Gaudavani, the Gaudavani, the message of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, to take that to the Western countries. Our Prabhupada received the order from his guru in 1923. And at that time he was a young man and he was in household life and so he was not able to actually fully. He was not able to fulfill at that time the order of his guru. But later, when he almost had reached the age of 70, he went to the western countries. And it's a very, uh, a very uh, wonderful history of how one person, one person, one man, one, Mangali Babu, and he had no, actually no, no, he had one contact in uh, a place called Pennsylvania. One, one person that provided the letter, uh, so he went there, he didn't know anybody. <clears throat> and he only had, actually he had 40 rupees. 
had 40 rupees when he arrived in America. 40 rupees. And interestingly enough, when Prabhupada, when Prabhupada uh, returned to India after spending two years, first two years in America, he returned to India in 1968. Uh, he still had that 40 rupees. Still had that. So how is this possible? Uh, create such a such a uh, international movement. Right? How is it possible? An old man, 70. 70, I'm looking around, doesn't look any... Uh, I won't mention, I won't pick out people. <laughs> but generally at that time we're retiring. I'm already seriously considering retiring. I'm only in 50s. What is bigger? After 20 years and then such a, such a remarkable achievement. So, Shira Prabhupada empowered. He's empowered. He's not even... He's not ordinary Krishna Bhakta. He's empowered Krishna Bhakta. He's not, he's not even ordinary Guru, Acharya. He's especially empowered. Because you can see the effect of just... Well, I personally never met... I never met Srila Prabhupada personally. I never met. However, we've given our life to his mission because of his teachings. His teachings are so powerful. <coughs> I'll explain. Maybe I'll, I'll tell you. Let's read a verse. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya <coughs> You can read on if you have Bhagavad Gita. Read on. We're, going, we're going to look at chapter 2, text number 17. Chapter 2, text number 17. <coughs> <coughs> Abhinasi tu tadvidi Yena sarvam idam tatam Vinasham abdaya shasha Nakashtik kartam ahati So Sri Krishna here, he's explaining that the yena sarvam idam tatam yena sarvam idam tatam what does that mean that means yena means by which sarvam means all so, the, the, that that which pervades the uh, body let's translate yena sarvam idam tatam the translation that which pervades the entire body <coughs> this is the description of consciousness consciousness you can just take a moment and you can internalize your thoughts and you can feel that you are conscious of you are conscious of your body from the head to toe arms limbs you're conscious yeah you're conscious you're aware of that you can feel you're sitting a person next to you you're but <coughs> Uh, that consciousness, that that actually Krishna says here, that that is abhinashi. Binash means to destroy. So abhinash means that that consciousness never is destroyed. The consciousness is never destroyed. And a little later, a few verses later, Krishna says, "Nahanyate hanyamane sharide." You see in text number twenty, last line of text number twenty. Na hanyate, hanyamane sharire. When the sharir, when the body is hany is destroyed, na hanyate, that consciousness is not destroyed. Now sometimes uh, people ask me, well, they say to me, they say, mm, uh, there. Oftentimes in India, I meet people in India. And they're, they are inquisitive, you know, wh wh why? Because generally, people in India, they want to go to America. <laughs> yes? Yes. And, okay, if you can't quite get to America, then Canada will do. <laughs> Australia is also pretty popular. People want, most people want to go. 
and even if they can't go, then they, they will invest a lot of effort into giving their children an education with the perspective that they could go. So it's rather, it's rather extraordinary that somebody who's from there comes here and actually lives here. <laughs> Doesn't go back. Uh, lives here. I'm living in India now 25 years. Can I call Bangali? Barsha Madhidi Bangali. Bangali. I call the John. Bangla Ami Shampuna Botavari. Put a class did the Vari Bangla. Puna Chintanai. Shampuna Bangla. Prashna Uto did the Vari. Abna de Puna Chintanai. They think actually that if you don't see it, sounds like uh, they say it sounds like Bengali. Even you're not looking, sounds like Bengali. I was in Bangladesh in the evening, one program, and it was right asked to me, middle of the night. And one of our, he's actually a local, local man, we have a wonderful project there, Sri Pundarik Vidhanidi, Pundarik Dham. One of the local people, he came in the middle of the night, we are having, it was all night program, right asked to me, all night. So he came and he said, he said to me, his, 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 his words were, you, 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 you speak Bengali just the way we do. <laughs> just the way we do. So, <coughs> he said it's very attractive. So, and the thing is, why? 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 Why we're, why we're not, if we can have, why is it that someone that can have so much material enjoyment is not interested in it? Why is that? <laughs> Isn't that interesting? <laughs> And someone that can easily have that which we're all working very, very hard to get. We're all, it's basically our main e endeavor. Day after day, week after week, month after month, is to, to, to increase our happiness in this world. That's the purpose. And we generally, we generally believe that by <coughs> increasing our material opulence, we will increase our happiness. So, how we, so it's very perplexing that a person that could have so much material happiness is not interested in it. How is that possible? Is a person mad? It must be. Jopadi jopadi mantra korele pago. Maybe I shouldn't get into that subject. <coughs> Maybe they'll stop chanting Hare Krishna after they hear that. But what is this madness? So we, we've become mad for the spiritual goal. Why? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I believe what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita. I believe what he says in Bhagavad Gita because he has no interest to cheat us. He has no agenda to, to, to fool us and take our money and run away. He has no agenda for that. <coughs> Dharma Shang Starpan Arthaya Shambhavami Juge Juge. Uh, that uh, Sambhavami, he appears, Dharma Shang Stapon Arthaya, for the purpose of actually educating us. <coughs> That's his only objective. That's his agenda. It's only for us. Uh, through Arjuna, Arjuna, Krishna is speaking this information. So it's not that we, <coughs> there's any trick. He's coming to enlighten humanity. And so when he says, when Krishna says that that consciousness in the body that's not destroyed, that's very important. That's very important. Because th th therefore, if that's not destroyed, that remains, and, and the, the, our body, our body, actually our, the, 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 everything about the body is finished. You know, in previous life you may have been in America. Maybe. But now American, and you, you go to immigrate, you go to the embassy, you say, well, I, I was, the previous life I was American. But this body, no, you, you can't go. With this body, you can't go. A visa, difficult to get. And then, uh, when this body is finished, then everything about this body is gone. Your, your, your family, your ethnic background, Maharati, Gujarati, whatever, you know, so many, you know, I think, in Bombay, everybody is there. Bombay is like Kichri of ethnic, <laughs> yes? There's everybody, Maharati, Gujarati, Bengali, Bihari, Tokin Bharat, Telugu, Andhra, everyone in Mumbai, I think, yes? So that also is finished, it's finished. And 
Actually, we, we forget completely, we forget. And people say, well, if I had previous lives, I would remember. Mm. But actually, Krishna, he, he induces forgetfulness. Matar Smriti Jnanam Apohanam Cha In 15th chapter of Bhagavad Gita Mata from me Smriti Jnanam Apohanam Comes remembrance And knowledge And Apohanam means forgetfulness So actually we forget everything about the previous life Why do we forget everything about the previous life? Because if we remembered right, Everything about previous life Then probably people wouldn't get married again No one would get married again. Oh, come on, you know. <laughs> I'm glad you. I'm glad you liked that one. <laughs> it was a bit of a risk, and it paid off. <clears throat> Family values are very important, but th this is the thing that, <clears throat> and everything else, because <clears throat> experience shows. Experience shows that. The, 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 material, the material result that you get, <clears throat> the effort that's required to get the result, oftentimes they, it's not worth it. You know, you have to struggle so hard to achieve those material, uh, material, material enjoyment and actually the enjoyment is very minimal. It's very minimal. It's not actually worth the, the, the struggle and the effort that we put, put into it. Actually, it's called chopol shuk. Chopol shuk. <coughs> Means that it doesn't, it, it goes very quickly. Material enjoyment, it goes very quickly. And the other, the other problem with material enjoyment <coughs> is that the more you enjoy, the less enjoyable it becomes. Just like some... some uh, movie you like to some recent movie okay you watch it once wow it was fabulous you know the effects and this and the big you know whatever is latest movies and so entertaining watch it twice you can get yeah, it twice generally not immediately you'll wait a little while and watch it again and watch it five times the same movie will you get the same enjoyment what about 50 times we'll make you watch it 50 times now in the begin first time it was so pleasurable, the same thing again and again it becomes it becomes like it becomes pain. You say, turn it off, I know what it is. It becomes pain, the same thing. So what does that mean? It means that actually the first time you watch, watched it, that wasn't real enjoyment, actually. That's illusory enjoyment. Because if it's real enjoyment, then every time you watch it you'll get the same. So it's circumstantial enjoyment. That's all. All the pleasure in this world is circumstantial enjoyment. It depends on the circumstances. <clears throat> you may be hungry, you eat something, yeah. Or whatever. But then once the circumstance, once the, the, you can't, it takes so much effort to, to arrange those circumstances. It's not unending enjoyment. But actually, the, 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 the self, the consciousness is requiring unending enjoyment. That's the nature of the self. This, this, this self which doesn't, is not destroyed, this is designed for unending enjoyment. Unending. Mm -hmm. shukam tvanantam. Well, another place in Bhagavad Gita Krishna says that uh, uh, that, uh, that uh, sabrama joga juktatma sabrama jog juktatma brahma jog juktatma being connected with the supreme Shukam Akhayam Ashnute. Shukam Akhayam. Means Akshai Shuk. That happiness that one enjoys in connection with the Supreme Brahman, with the Supreme Lord, Sri Hari. That happiness, it gets more and more pleasurable the more you, you, the more you experience it. Otherwise, how we can sit here and, and chant Hare Krishna? It's the same mantra. I'm chanting now close to 40 years, 35 years. No one will, uh, will say, oh, can we sing something different today? <laughs> can, we, can we sing something different? <clears throat> but the more we're chanting, the more we're relishing. This is Akshashuk. So, 
Therefore, we've understood, actually, uh, I was a, a student in the college in Melbourne. It's a very reputed college. And I was actually hoping that, because in, in youth, I had questions. My questions were, <coughs> uh, why do we have to grow old? Well, everybody, there's no exception. And nobody wants to. And everybody is, is resisting that and trying to prevent aging. Everybody. It's the <coughs> so why, why is that? <laughs> Who set up this system? Why it has to be like that? This is my questions. Why is it we, no one wants to and everyone is forced to? And we're all here. Why? Why? Who organized it? Who set up this program? And wh why, does it, why is it set up like that? <clears throat> what do you think of those questions? Have we blown fuses already or we're still on track? <laughs> Why do we have to grow old? No one wants to. Everyone is, is resisting. Everyone, uh, I mean, I, I was asking Nitai Madhu yesterday, I said, we were in the traffic, and I was saying, what in a hospital emergency? You never get to the hospital in Mumbai. Hmm? Hmm? If you really want to understand traffic jam, then come to Mumbai. Hmm? It's, it's, I think, is there ever anywhere there's no traffic jam? <laughs> it's always, always. How can you get through the, you know, the ambulance? What's the point? You know, ringing, you know, the siren. No one will care. This is Mumbai. I said, all the patients will die. No one will make it to the... And he said, no, there's, there's nursing. Why? How come? Why is that? Don't you ever ask? You never ask? You know why? Yeah, why? So I couldn't find the answer in the college. No one could give me the answer. Why? They just say, you know, actually what they said to me, the, the professors, hmm? they, said, they said, you need a girlfriend. <laughs> you know, then you'll be, you won't worry about all this stuff. But why, why is it like that? You know, we never ask. You know, why does everybody have to die? Why does, in the, in the end, it ends up as a, as a failure of a, a pain, separation. Why? You never ask why? Hmm? So the answer is here is given because actually we don't die. And we don't grow old. But that is our main problem, that we think we are this body. And we're pretty convinced of it. <clears throat> and therefore, uh, Krishna comes to awaken us in this fundamental truth. It's called Atma Tattva. That we're not this body. So then, you're okay with that? We're okay with that? We're not the body. <clears throat> and then, uh, then, all of the so therefore the, the, the conclusion is not that we not that we artificially think that we're already okay now I'm not the body so that's it I'm no need no need to eat anymore it's just I'm the soul I'm not the body why eat you know why go to work you know why do anything it's just a waste of time <laughs> well actually it's correct but <clears throat> we can't just jump to the spiritual reality we can't because it's like the fan. Yeah. If you turn that off, it won't stop immediately because there's so much momentum. So this bodily con consciousness, Bahuni me batitani janamani, Krishna explains to Arjuna, that's unlimited lifetimes. So it, it, this, conscious, this tendency to identify with the body is very deep rooted, very deep rooted. Even we're practicing sadhana for decades and decades, still we're where, where this conscious, bodily consciousness is not completely removed. Mm -hmm. So, rather than just trying to jump into the spiritual re reality, that the uh, Bhagavad Marg is, is recommending that all we need to do is, or we should do, is we should reduce the attention, you could say the devotion, the dedication that we have 
to fulfilling the unlimited desires of this body and mind. We have to actually, we have to actually reduce that. And gather inspiration, gather energy, gather time to actually begin to cultivate that spiritual awakening. But if you remain on the, on the path that, no, no, yeah, spiritual, Jai Gopal, they're very nice, but no, I'm not going to give up my effort to increase my material. The, the, your progress in spiritual life will be slow. Because you're dragging all this baggage that you don't want to let go of. So you'll be slow. Your, your consciousness will not easily be able to be absorbed in the lotus feet of Sri Hari. Because you're always, your consciousness is habituated to being absorbed in your illusory plans to be happy in this world. Fully absorbed in that. As Prahlad Maharaj explained in Srimad Bhagavatam, Na te vidu shartakatim, he Vishnu, not knowing, na te vidu. We do not know that the, the artagatim, the ultimate benefit, he Vishnu is in uh, uh, awakening and reviving our relationship with Krishna. Not knowing that, Durashaya ye Bahir Arta Manina. We are thinking that the Bahir, Bahir means the external energy, Arta Manina. Manina, we, we think that it is very important. Very important. Bahir Arta. Arta means valuable. Bahir, the, the external energy. Arta Manina. We think that is all in all. We think that is everything. So as long as we have that conception, then we, it will be difficult for us to progress in spiritual life. So therefore, <coughs> in Krishna consciousness, just like here, uh, we're visiting Varsha, Madhuji said, now this is home, but home has become spiritualized. So it's not that you have to give up everything. You just have to, you, you, you just have to uh, inter, you, you revive, you have to connect everything to Krishna. So we can still eat. It's not that oh, eating's a waste of time because we're, we're not this body. I, I eat, eat so much and, and pass. What's the use? <laughs> just so I can eat again? Well, what's the use of that? <laughs> so not that you have to stop completely, but that you eat Krishna Prashadam. Just by honoring the Bhagavat Prashad, you, 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 you're purified. Not only of, uh, of the reaction for the killing that you're doing in, in what you're eating at that time, but previous reactions are also purified by eating the Bhagavat Prashad. So the Bhakta, the, the, the Bhakta, we only eat Krishna Prashad. We only eat Krishna Prashadam. So in that way, it's not that we deny the body. Actually, uh, the Krishna Prashadam, it's very tasty. It's very tasty. Uh, because uh, one can, with enthusiasm and with devotion, offer Sri Krishna so many nice eatables with the purpose of pleasing Sri Hari. The purpose of pleasing Sri Hari. And then we can take that Krishna Prashad and in that way we can associate with Sri Hari, purify ourselves. So therefore we sang the song by, by Lochandas Thakur that, that uh, Kebala Ananda Kanda. How is, it, how is it possible that the Western people can, can so seriously uh, give themselves to the spiritual path? Hmm? Because it's very blissful, it's very enjoyable. The the path that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, the Sankirtan, the chanting Hare Krishna, is very easy. Very easy. Kebala Ananda Kanda. One doesn't have to give up family. One doesn't have to, one can stay at home, have your career, everything. But the basic things, not that we become fully absorbed in the material life with no, without thinking of anything else. We moderate that. We, 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 we simplify that so that we carry on healthy life and family, you carry on with all that. But not that we're thinking that's everything. 
simultaneously we, we chant Hare Krishna. It's very easy. You don't have to change much in your life. And chanting, you can, you can begin very, you can do a little bit of chanting. Even if you don't, you, you don't, you don't even have to have mala. You can come to the satsanga and chant. You'll be very purified. Very quickly, you'll feel major changes in, the, in your life, particularly the way you see things will change when you chant Hare Krishna. The, the spell of the illusory energy will, will gradually evaporate by chanting Hare Krishna. And it's all short. Maya nashi baro lage harinam maha mantra lao tumi mage. Gold Hari is singing that energy I bought when he came, he appeared. Krishna appeared 500 years ago. It's Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Energy I brought with me energy oshod. Oshod. Energy oshod. Maya nashi baro lage. Which, and the, the, this oshod, it, it destroys the illusion that I am this body. The medicine for destroying that illusion is Harinam. Hare Krishna Mahamantra. It's the medicine for destroying that illusion. And by chanting Hare Krishna, you begin to realize that I am not this temporary body. I am eternal Nitto Krishna Das. And therefore, automatically, without pain, it's not that we're thinking, oh, I have to give up that, I have to give up this, it's so painful. Automatically, one loses one's attraction to the temporary pleasures of this world. One is no longer enamored, one, because one has got the knowledge that actually, it's not worth the effort I have to put into that. And so therefore, let me, <laughs> why go to such an effort? When the result is so limited, you know, we'll spend so much, but we'll work so hard over, over time. Uh, we, we, we get some, uh, get some savings. We'll go on a holiday to Goa. Yeah? And we're thinking about for months in advance and we're meditating. Nice hotel, palm trees, beach, mm? enjoyment, restaurants, nightlife. We're meditating, meditating. And when we get there, it's nothing like what we hoped it would be. You know, the room is smelling, the AC doesn't work, or, or there's a drip from the room upstairs all night. Bip, 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 bip. The water, you know, dropping from the AC machine is landing on our a AC and all night in the room. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> you can't sleep. Toilet doesn't flush. <laughs> you, 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 maybe this happened, you get sick. You know, beach, there's so many, so many flies and so many people harassing you. Buy this, buy that. Whenever you walk out the door, they're, they're, they're like jackals all over you. We'll take you here, we'll take you there, we'll take you there. And the whole thing was just like a disappointment. Not what you were dreaming it would be. And when you go back to work next week, and they say, how was your holiday? And, you, and you'll say, oh, 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 oh. I enjoyed so much. Oh. Because, you know, we're not going to say, oh, actually, it wasn't worth it. It, it just it didn't. <laughs> because they're, they're, what do you expect? They're just trying to cheat you. Their thing is not that, hey, hey we're here to give you a good time. They're, here, they're there to empty your pocket. <laughs> they're there to, that's just to empty your pocket. Nothing else, you know. So what do you expect? <coughs> so these are the, you know, so we get, by chanting Hare Krishna, the, the, the attraction to material enjoyment evaporates. You may think, you may not like the idea of that, but actually that is the path of liberation. Because when you, I remember when, uh, when I, I was first taking, coming to Krishna consciousness and I was with family and friends and they were smoking. <laughs> and they, they, they were saying, oh, you know, it must be so difficult for you. You, you, you have to restrain yourself. You know, we can eat this, we can go here, we can eat anything, we can do all these things. It must be so difficult for you. Uh, that, uh, 
You can't do these things. It must be so difficult for you, you can't do these things. Uh, my response was, actually, it's not that I can't do these things. It's not that I can't smoke. Uh, I can't eat. Uh, I can. But I've lost interest in them. Uh, uh, it's not that I can't do them. I can do them. But now these things don't give pleasure anymore. So that I'm liberated. I don't need that anymore. I don't need that. That means you're free. Is there or not, you're happy. But with my, my, my friend uh, smoking and drinking, I said, go to the party tomorrow night, don't smoke, don't drink. <laughs> they're thinking they're free. Just look at the logic. We're free, we can smoke, drink, anything, we're free. You're not free. You're the slave. Because without it, you can't enjoy. Oh, I can drink, I can smoke, I can do anything, but I don't need to. Well, who's free? They're saying we're free to do these things, but they're not free. They're forced to. They can't control themselves. They're, they're the victim. They cannot tolerate the urge. They have to satisfy. They're always being uh, subjugated, under control. But when you chant Hare Krishna, we lose our interest in it, then we don't need. It's there or not there. We don't mind. We're happy. This is the only. This is self-realization. This is what human life is meant for. The other species, they'll never come to. We don't see any here. Crows, dogs. Their their intelligence not sufficiently developed to even discuss these things. But generally, so that means if you're not on the path of spiritual awakening, you're on animal level. If you're not putting energy into awakening your spiritual, in developing, in, in increasing your spiritual realization, your, your con develop, expanding your consciousness, then that, that's no different from the animal platform. Because animals are not doing that. This is not my opinion, this is the Shastrik Shiddhanto. Dharame na hina pashubi shamanum. Without inquiry into the absolute truth, one is on the level of animal. So these are the, me the, the, the lessons that we derive from Bhagavad Gita. I, I first read Bhagavad Gita, I was 19 years old in uh, the college. 19 years, and it had such an effect on me. So many books we were reading there. <laughs> when I, our, our ISKCON devotees, they had, they had placed Bhagavad Gita. Actually, it was Srimad Bhagavatam, from Bhagavad Gita. And here, the, the, uh, the, 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 where I could not find answers, you know, why, we, why everybody grows old. Here I found the answers. Well, we don't grow old. We don't grow old. We don't die. It's only an, illu an illusion, based on an illusion that you're thinking that you're this body. So the answer, why we all... Krishna dase bishash to adukhanai. When you understand your relationship with Krishna, adukhanai, then all of the misery is removed from your life. Because you understand, well, actually, ultimately, nothing can go wrong. And you're already prepared, you're suffering, you're, 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 you understand that that's okay. It's not me. It's just the reactions to my previous activities. I have to tolerate that. Let me work in such a way now so I don't have to take another body. And you just tolerate whatever you have to go through in this life, whatever sufferings are there from previous accumulated karmas. You just work through. When you take to chanting Hari Nam, Hare Krishna, all of those previous karmas are tremendously reduced. So suffering that you would have had to have gone through as a result of previous lives, sin, can be removed by chanting Hare Krishna. It's a special, a special compensation, mercy, because Krishna is a person, and he's the supreme controller. Ye bhajanti to mambaktya, those who worship me, bhajan, those who chant my name, ye bhajanti to mambaktya, mai te te shu chapiham. I become particularly interested in them. Otherwise, our circumstances are simply 
uh, simply determined by the laws of karma. And there's no mercy in the law of karma. Uh, not that the, the law of karma, well, and we'll say, no, oh, that's a bit rough, you know. <laughs> I'll, give him a, I'll give him a break this time. I'll let him off. There's no concept of mercy. It's just automatic. Action, reaction. Automatic. So, nothing you can do. So, of course, you can get Brahmin priests to try to do puja to remove those karmas, but the problem is that in this age, the Brahmin priests are not sufficiently pure for pujas to be effective. That's a problem in, in the Kali Yuga because dosha nidhe, kale dosha nidhe, the, 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 the Vanasram system, Katriya. Brahmana. Brahmana means that they're not meant to be, they don't take a wage. They don't take a wage. Brahmana. No wage. Brahmana means they, they give knowledge and then uh, they accept whatever comes by the mercy of the Lord. Not that they charge. This puja costs this much. This, everything is polluted in the modern age. Therefore, the, only the Harinam. For Harinam, you don't even need Brahmanas. You don't need Brahmanas. Naham vipra, nacha nara padi na vivaishana shudro, naham varni na jagriha padi. I'm not a Brahmin, I'm not a sannyasi. No. Because the, 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 the chanting process is directly on the spiritual platform. When you're chanting, then it's your soul communicating with Krishna. You don't need anything else. You don't need anything else. Doesn't matter about your place, your, your age, gender economic situation it's all irrelevant the mantra is the most direct way of connecting with Krishna the most pleasing way of worshipping Krishna Jagyai Shankirtana Prayai Yajanti the way Krishna is worshipped in this age is by chanting his name so these are some thoughts that we shared from our discussion on Shuma Bhagavad Gita is there any question? You've been able to? Move on faster and accept uh, one slot of karma. But it's not that, like, the, the pain is easy. Yeah. You're, you're reading Bhagavad Gita. Yes, just mm -hmm. started. Just started. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And already, already the pain is eased. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Already the pain is eased. This is why Krishna spoke. Because we don't know the process of easing, of removing the pain. And that what we think it will remove actually is just causing more. It's connecting the, the real self with the Supreme by, by chanting. That will remove <laughs> the pain. Oh, and so much. Uh, immediately we will feel the spiritual connection. We'll feel the presence of Sri Hari in our life. And there will, we will see changes. He becomes a friend. He be, because we're calling on the name. You think he's not hearing that? So he becomes inclined to help us. And many, many catastrophes can be actually removed just by... Because... Because Jiv Krishna Das Ebishash Koleto Adukana, because no, it's no longer required for you to keep suffering. Because you're you're awake you're waking up. So the constant punishment and beating which is meant to induce you to turn your face to the Lord and, 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 and again revive your relationship, you don't need to be punished anymore because you you understood. So the punishment can be really you can get reduction of sentence. Just like in the jail, the judge, the judge, he's meant to, this guy, such a rascal, it's going to take 20 years of hard labor for him to get rectified. That's how they judge. Well, that's a serious thing, you know, that's a, at least 15 years in the jail to get rectified. But there's in the jail, there's regular evaluation. 
And then if they see that the person getting rectified more quickly, they interview, you know, parole boards. So what do you think about this? And what do you think about that? And they ask questions. They try and trick you. <laughs> and then if they feel that actually he's already cured, can be reduction in sentence. Because you don't need to be punished more because you've changed. So that's it. When you understand, uh, and, and basically it will uh, we can change our life, make it, remove the sinful activities, reduce them. And start, start serving Krishna, start hearing Krishna's teachings, start chanting Krishna's names. That's all we need to do in the beginning. You just read, hear, associate with Krishna's devotees, hear the kirtan, chant if you like. Krishna will be very pleased with that, those activities. He'll be very pleased. So that will already have a dramatic effect in your life. So much suffering will be removed because you don't need to suffer anymore. You've, been, you, you've, you've learned your lesson. And you can very quickly become a life of sublime happiness uh, in, in association with Krishna. We, 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 uh, we uh, encourage you to take seriously the Krishna consciousness. Very easy. Chant Hare Krishna. Very easy. Other questions or comments? Yeah, some can. It's 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 uh, it's not. It's exceptional. Yeah, it's exceptional. There may be some even hypnosis and things like that. Sure, we believe those things. Yeah, it may be, maybe, maybe that you can remember. Also, that that when a person becomes spiritually liberated, they can also see all of these things. So the plan is to read it again, uh, and 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 uh, you can expect something special again. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like this verse, so many times, uh, but because it's not the sound of Krishna's words, it's Krishna. Yatra gayanti madhvakta tatra tishthami narada. The sound when we're discussing yatra, where gayanti madhvakta, my devotee is describing me. Tatra, at that place, Tishtami, Narada, I manifest. So that is actually our process, our process, Sankirtan. Chanting doesn't just mean the, 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 the singing, it's talking about Krishna. Discussing, the, discussing the teachings of Krishna. And this, this is Bhagavad Gita, but we have more. <laughs> this is Srimad Bhagavatam, like volumes, like encyclopedia. On the science of God, so many examples of bhaktas and their sadhana and, 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 their, and their successes and their reciprocation, it's all documented and it's very inspirational. And there's other, you can read, Godhari Lila, Chaitanya Charitamrita. So there is a, a tremendous wealth of the spiritual uh, subject that can actually attract the mind. Yeah? Attract the mind. So that's the process. You, you hear. Our process is hearing. That's all you have to do. You hear Bhagavad Gita, you hear the name, you hear discussions of Krishna. According to your convenience, it will awaken your, it will revive your spiritual, your spiritual identity. Just by hearing about Krishna. That's the process.
so would you like some suggestions okay so what you can do is because some you're on an elevated platform because already you understand that you're not the body and that you have a spiritual identity and the purpose of life is to revive that but uh, many people there they, they may be so covered over that you can't even you can't even awaken that you can't they, they, they don't understand okay. so you can they need to be purified so if you give them you you, you can you give them some prashadam you give them Krishna prashadam you can get from the temple the, the you know the Mahaprasad you can get and we have the shop you can buy little packets the Mahaprasadam and uh, people will accept, of course, and they, they, they take nice sweets and this and that. So then when they eat that prasadam, they, they, they're serving Krishna. Right? Because Krishna, Swaprasad onna dilobai, he's given us, you honor prasadam, Krishna becomes pleased. So therefore they can get blessed, even, even they're in a, 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 a state of, of unawakened state. You have to you have to see how you can be kind to them, but by they may not be able to understand philosophy, or they may not be able to understand that message. But you can get you can connect them to serving Hari and get the mercy of Hari in other ways by giving them the prasadam. It's very powerful, and then subsequently that can that can awaken the the, the prasadam. And then it, it, that you may find that it's easier, they're more in, they're easier to explain. So rather, you, rather than just, and they may not actually be, they may not actually be interested in taking lessons from you <laughs> because of ego. Ego. What do you know? You know, I, I, you have your view. I have my view. You know, why I should listen to you? So therefore, you know, it helps if if once you know you can you you can have more authority rather than just you and your opinion. Because who cares about your opinion? Why should I listen to you? So therefore, generally, you know, we introduce people to more author authorized teachings. You give them books. Then it's very authorized. It's not just your opinion. So you may find that helpful. You give them the books. Or the little small... You see, Barsha Madhya has so many nice little handouts, little pamphlets. Look. So that will that makes it a lot easier than trying to just explain everything on your own. And then people, they're eager. They may not want to take it from you anyway. So these are things. So, like a doctor, you have to, you have to, you can't just. You, sometimes you have to use a bit of empathy, you know, to get the patients to to take the prescription. Some. So we have. I mean, that's our, This is our business. <laughs> so you take help from us. You take the books, you take the things, the little gifts, you, you, use the, you, you use the temple environment. You bring, tell people come to temple, tell them to come to programs. That will, that will empower you to be more effective in your sharing kindness with others. We're here for that, you know, so we can help you. So you come and join us and we can, together, we can unite it. You know, you're one person out there against the whole ocean. You're not easy. And you can't necessarily be effectively utilized to the best of your capacity. So cooperate with us. And you can share kindness to others more effectively. Shall we do some more kirtan? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, 
Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare.
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, 
Progress in Krishna consciousness. 